Hello everyone, I thought I'd just make a quick video on how to set up React inside of a Rails 6 application and see how fast we can get this done. Uh, so we're going to start off with our uh, Rails new React app command and we're going to pass in a flag and we're going to say hyphen hyphen webpack equals React and then you can hit enter. And um, during this installation process up here, it did run the Rails Webpacker install React command. So that's nice. That means we really don't have to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is open up my text editor. I'm going to type code and dot to open up Visual Studio Code. If you don't know how to configure it to run like this, uh, I do have a tutorial. I'll link to it in a card where I set up Visual Studio Code with this uh, console terminal thing inside Windows that runs Linux. All that good stuff. It's the WSL2 uh, setup. Uh, once that's done, we're going to create a controller. So say Rails G controller pages home. Okay, once that controller is created, we can come over to our config and routes.rb. Uh, you can also hit control and P inside Visual Studio Code and uh, Sublime Text and Adam also have a shortcut similar to this. And if you just type something like I could say page controller, it'll auto complete and then you can just move over to that file. But for now, we're going to stay in this routes.rb file. Uh, we can set the root of the application to be the pages controller and the home action. And we can run Rails S just to do a sanity check. And I'll move a window up here so I can open up my localhost port 3000. That'll get Webpacker compiling. Uh, once that's done, what we can do is we can come over to our app JavaScript packs folder. And in the JavaScript folder, we can create a new folder and we can call this components. And inside of this components folder, let's create a new file and let's call this app.js. Inside of our app.js, we can say uh, import react component, oops, capital C component from react. And we can say class app extends component. Uh, and then we'll have a render because of course we will, it's react after all. Uh, and then we can return a div and we'll say, hello world, this is your app speaking or something. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, we'll just say export default app. And then we can uh, go ahead and save this. The next thing we can do is come over to our hello react.jsx file. And if I full screen this real quick, uh, you can see right here it says run this example by adding JavaScript pack tags to the head of your layout file. So if we come over to our views, pages, home.html.erb, we can get rid of this and instead paste in this hello react thing. Next we can come back to hello react and instead of having, um, well I guess we can leave this right here for right now so you can see what it's doing. So all it has is this hello props, it gives the prop a name, uh, but right here you set the name to be react so this will say uh, if we refresh the page, and you can see right here, it says hello react, we zoom in, hello react, you know, basic react stuff, all this is is just um, this right here, hello props.name, the default name is David, but we're setting the name to be react right here. But what else we can do is we can get rid of this props type and instead we can say import app from dot dot slash components slash app. Uh, we can get rid of this default props, this prop types and uh, this entire hello thing right here. And instead we can just say app slash and then close the bra bracket. And then if we refresh the page, we should see hello world, this is your app speaking. And we can also change this so it's a bit more readable. So if I come into app.js, I can change this to be a h1 tag. And I can change this to be an h1, save this, refresh the page. And there is your h1 tag rendered from React inside of Ruby on Rails. I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, I know it's a short one, but I just wanted to get like a really basic, quick and easy uh, React installation setup video going so that when I move on over to uh, some other videos I have planned, I can just reference this one in a card. Uh, and I thought it might be fun to cover this project uh, on the channel or at least my steps in what I'm doing for the project, because I don't know if I can cover all of this on the channel. It'd probably be like a hundred part series or something. But I thought it might be fun to do some of it and to get people up and running on React, obviously. It's a very powerful front-end uh, framework to work with for, you know, all sorts of stuff. 
I know we like to live inside our Ruby on Rails bubble here, but you know sometimes it is uh, it is beneficial to pick up these newer technologies. I say newer, but you guys know what I mean. But yeah, this is the basic uh, pathfinding terrain thing here, and it takes weights into consideration and all that stuff. You can see here the nodes all have a weight, and I can like run this, and you know it's just a neat application. It's pretty educational building it because you learn all of these things you would have learned about in like an algorithms class. But uh, you learn about it with like real world experience instead, and it looks great on a resume. I'm sure some of you have seen the videos on YouTube of people that use uh, or like made videos on creating this app, this pathfinding visualizer thing. Uh, but I kind of took it a step further and then, you know, another eight steps further <laughs> after that. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if this video was helpful in setting up React, remember to like it. If it wasn't helpful, then remember to dislike it so we don't subject other people to it. And uh, I will see you in the next video. <laughs>